In this video, we'll be working in the 3D editor. We're going to show you how to add retaining walls and pavers to your 3D project. We'll also be working on the terrain editor. Okay? Now, what I want to do here is I want to add a retaining wall around this bed here. Now, if to get started, we're going to grab that tree and just kind of bump it out of the way. Okay, and we'll come down to our paver tab in our content explorer, and this is in the 3D editor. I'll go down to the selector here and select wall patterns. Okay, that will load my wall library. Now, if I simply select a wall pattern and drag it up to the project, you'll see it gives me a, a curved wall. Now, what we want to do is we want to uh, change this and uh, manipulate it, manipulate the curvature of the wall. And the way that we do this is we go over here to the workspace in the properties tab and where it says render type we want to select the drop down and click on curved wall. Okay, and you'll see what that does is it gives me these yellow points at the top which I can grab those points and I can adjust it and I can start to curve that wall like so. Okay, so once I get the curvature down the way I like it, I just bump it back into uh, place. If I need to manipulate it a little further, I can still grab those yellow points and manipulate it. Okay. Now we also can change the thickness of the wall. So if I want to change the thickness, I just go have the wall selected and I go over here to the workspace and where it says depth. I just go in and I want to override that from a depth of 50 to a depth of 20 and you'll notice as soon as I do that it changes the wall thickness. Now I can also change the elevation of the wall and I can do that by selecting the up down position here. So if I select a up down position of 10 it floats it up. If I select a minus 10 it pushes it uh, down below uh, the ground plane slightly. We can also come in and we can hold down on the control key and when we click on that object you'll see I can change the elevation very easily. So that's the preferred method of changing the elevation of any object in the 3D editor is holding down the control key while you're moving it. Now whenever we do this what we'll need to make sure is that we also change the elevation of the plant materials and uh, we do that the same way. We hold down on the control key whoops, and we just change the elevation just like that. Now it's better to work from the back of the project forward so I'll select that plant and this is all with the control key held down just like that so I'll just adjust each one of them like so. Okay, and now they appear to be more on the upper portion of that retaining wall. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you how to add pavers to our project. Now we go down here to the paver library, and this time I'll select paver patterns, and that loads my pattern library. I'll just select a, a pattern here. Now if I was to drag this up like we did the retaining wall, it doesn't quite do what I want it to do. It's not laying out flat uh, onto the surface and that's because we, we need to do this a different way. Now if, if you accidentally drag an object up to your page, whether it's a plant or a paver or a wall or whatever, you can always right click on it and select delete object. Now if I want to, what we need to do here is just right click on this, uh, this paver that's in the library and select place as ground cover object. Okay, and that will drop it onto my project like that. You'll see that if I grab that green square in the middle, I can move that around my project like so. Okay, now these outer points, that allows me to adjust the perimeter like so. Okay, now if you click on any other object on the project, such as this tree, you'll see that this becomes deselected. Now if I was to click back to the paver here, 
it is not selectable and that's because it's locked down to the ground plane and I need to uh, edit that again so what we need to do is go up here to the toolbar and select enable disable ground plane object editing and now I get those green points around there and I can go in and, and modify it very easily again when you click on another object it locks that paper down to the ground plane alright now let's go ahead and adjust the terrain so what we want to do is add a berm in here and uh, we're going to adjust the ground plane terrain and we have up on the toolbar enable disable terrain editing okay and that gives me a several thousand yellow points across my terrain which I can grab a point and I can pull that up just like pulling it up off the ground like so alright now I'm going to go ahead and turn the ground plane editor off now when I rotate that around it now appears to have a berm there I'll go ahead and turn that back on you also notice that if I want to change the terrain uh, of this paver it also allows me to do that like so okay and that's how we add retaining walls and pavers and we edit the terrain in the 3d editor